world's a treasure. It's been telling us to leave for a while now. Your daughter's generation will be the last to survive on Earth. You're the best pilot we ever had. Get out there and save the world. Everybody ready to say goodbye to our solar system? To our galaxy. Here we go. Matthew, congrats on this movie. I absolutely loved it, I have to say. I mean, right. you're on a, a, a serious roll, but I, I heard you said this is the most ambitious movie you've done to date. I was going to say, is that true and why so? Look, this one goes further out there, literally out there, than any film I've ever not only done, but seen. Yeah. Um, the concepts that Chris is able to realize on screen, I don't know where he gets them from, you know, uh, how his mind works. And I, I enjoyed in, in shooting this constantly, picking his brain about what are the rules, logistics of this world that you've, you've created in this place, this adventure that we're going on. Um, that was part of the turn on for me. This was a wonderful, big, wild adventure, and I got to be the pilot. <laughs> that was, and when he called, were you surprised at all? Because it wasn't like he was on the bandwagon. We've had huge, hugely successful movies one after another recently. But he called you before Magic Mike yeah. or True Detective, the TV show. Do you know that kind of way? Yeah. So did it come out of the blue? How did it happen? It did come out of the blue. I had no idea. I mean, Chris and I didn't know each other. He had come up to me uh, probably a year or six months before I got the call, and he came up to me. Uh, we were at an event, and I just ran into him, and he came up to me, and he goes, Mud. And I went, Yeah. I really, really enjoyed that movie. He goes, I think you were great in it. That's all he said. <clears throat> then I get a call from my agent saying, Christopher Nolan's got a new film coming out. He's interested in you, possibly. I didn't know if that meant me and 10 other people. Yeah. And then we went and had a meeting for a few hours and didn't talk about it, the movie at all. Just talked as men and fathers and such. And uh, you know, about a week later, they delivered the script to read. And then we were off. Five main engines start. Couldn't you have told her you were going to save the world? No. Four. When you become a parent. Three. One thing becomes really clear. Two. And I said you want to make sure your children feel safe. One. I'm coming back. Well, you mentioned it as men and fathers, which I think is key to this, is what I really yeah. liked about it. It's not just looks amazing visually, and it is about space, but the core of it is actually family and the values in that. So yeah. did that attract you as, as a dad? Sure it did. Yeah, it did. Um, you know, we all, there, there, there's, there's the, that's what the hook, the emotional hook of the whole film, the personal side, that everyone can relate to. And you don't have to be a father or a mother to relate to it. You can be what we all are, as we're someone's children. Yeah, yeah, and we've yeah. all had the goodbye. Yeah. Whether it's first day of school, whether it's dad going away to work. Nothing as extreme as this. I mean, a lot of people, I guess the closest you could say to this is somebody maybe that's, that's, that's going off to, to war or something. There's no return ticket, you know, and there's nothing, uh, uh, you, there's, this hasn't been done before, basically. So, and to make a promise, okay. you know, yeah. to a child, what more, what, what, there's not much that's a greater incentive that a father can have than to, to keep a promise that they've made to a child. Well, your family is obviously very important to you. I mean, in your Oscar acceptance speech, they're the ones you, re yep. you, re you really thanked. Yep. So I was wondering, did you draw on real life family when you were filming some of yeah. these scenes? Because I have to say, I was in tears during some moments in this were film. You? I was, yeah. I was too watching. <laughs> it got me. It got did me. It? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, sure. You know, I don't know specifically what I did, but I, but I know myself. I, I know it's got to be true that the fact that I'm a father and I've got three children. Sure, I, I know I, uh, um, I went to set and, and took what value, what things I understand about my feelings with my family and my feelings as a father and how I love my children and what they think about me um, and, and, and invested some of those to, to, to Cooper to understand situations, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I usually think of, uh, you know, for me it's thinking about the, things that make me smile about them, the, 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 the life in them, the humor, the sound of their laughter, you know, the, the, the love that we have. I think of those and, I, and, then, and then the idea, if any father stopped and thinks about, oh, what if I couldn't hear that again? Yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's a devastating thought, you know? Yeah, every, um, it's uncomfortable even saying it. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I'm sure those invested some of what I did in, in, in with Cooper. 
Well, listen, Interstellar, unbelievable movie. Congratulations, Thank Maggie. You. We're here. We want to get down fast, don't we? Actually, we want to get there in one piece. Hang on. We have a mission. Our mission does not work if the people on Earth are dead by the time we pull it off. Well, we got this far, farther than any human in history. Oh, not far enough. Make it count. Where's the mountains? Those aren't mountains. They're waves. I'm not gonna make it. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You might have to decide between seeing your children again and the future of the human race. We'll find a way.